Hello, it's Helen here and today I want to demonstrate a technique called embedded embossing. Uh, it's great for making cards that you don't want to have too much height. If you have to uh, send them in the post perhaps, if you want to keep them a bit flatter. So I'm going to show you how we get this effect. I cut a lot of images out of a sheet of paper. This piece is a Kaiser Craft from their Sail Away range. And it's got some great images. But I didn't want to use these as a background paper. It was too busy for me. So I just cut these out and made my own background with them. And so once I had them all cut out... I cut a sheet of white cardstock to fit the front of my card, which was here. And then I am just going to stick a few images on the card, which I have started. And to do that, I like to use two types of glue. For the bigger pieces, I use my glue stick. And make sure you get all the edges because that's the important part of doing this embedded embossing because you want it to look like, once it's embossed, you want it to look like it belongs on the paper. It's not being stuck on. So that's, and for the smaller images, like this tiny little bird, I use my uh, Zig uh, glue pen and just run that all over it making sure all the edges are glued and we'll stick that one on there so when I did this card I had it all planned in my head where I was going to stick the greeting so that's I I put all the images on to accommodate for that greeting but this one I haven't decided what I'm doing with it so I've just randomly stuck them on there so at this stage you can see that that's just images stuck on a piece of card what we're going to do now is pop it in an embossing folder doesn't really matter what design you use as long as it's a, a covered design got lots of design an open design won't look won't you won't get the same effect so any kind of embossing folder as long as it's got quite a lot of pattern on it so for that we are going to run it through a big shot a cuddle bug would be just as good or any other machine that you use and we'll run it back And that is our finished design ready to go onto our card. You can see that you, you just can't see where the uh, cutout starts and the pattern begins. And that's called embedded embossing. Thank you for watching.